has huge opening knowledge across every system. So I think it's always good for him to try and play something a little bit unexpected and, and use his universal knowledge. And I think this would have been a small surprise, but I think it was also a sign that he was very determined to try and create winning chances. Carano played Queen D3, and this is uh, a novelty. I had the impression that maybe both players were out of their pre preparation fairly early on. How do you think, Dina? What's wrong with this move? That's trap. I can see the double attack here. You tell me. Yes, sure. My feeling about this position that this is mostly about understanding of the position more than about calculation. Black's minor pieces are now actually quite well placed. Now this bishop on e6 is very solid and one day the knight will look to come to e5 and in general black has good dark square control. I think it, the activity was sort of temporary and the structural damage was probably uh, more serious and he started to uh, take a bit of control of the game. Mm -hmm. And I thought this was a very key moment because I think after bishop g4, um, just after this, I think it's easy to see how white is playing and how he can get some activity. That was really what happened and white was just in for a long defense, a long tough defense. We should consider in this position as black uh, simply have a white, uh, have extra knight. This game actually remind me your style. Yeah, I would have been very happy to have played this game today with black. <laughs> very high quality uh, performance. By, uh, Theory. Yes, you uh, cannot uh, disagree with everything I said. Yes, and I should add that I like so much how you draw the board, and uh, I was waiting to see the green and also the blue color on it. Yeah, let me try with the blue one. Now it's absolutely clear for me. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, go on, continue. I'm just trolling you. Uh, we can do it after the stream.